Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is Lesson 70 Practice Set. We'll be doing the star problems in a different video. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So Lesson 70 is on volume, and the volume of a rectangular prism, and a cube is a type of rectangular prism, um, the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So A says, this rectangular prism was constructed of unit cubes. Its volume is how many unit cubes? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have one, two, three, four. And then I have one, two, three. So if I use my volume formula, length times width times height, I have six times four times three, which is... 24 times 3, or 12 times 6, which is 72. Uh, cubes square, cubes cubed. Uh, it doesn't give me inches or anything like that. Okay. Find the number of 1 centimeter cubes that can be placed inside a box with the dimension. So this is also asking for volume. I don't know why they have to ask for it strangely. But again, we're going to use our volume is equal to length times width times height. And you can see this is a cube, so the length, width, and height are the same. So I have 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 uh, centimeters cubed. Okay. And then the last one on this page, what is the volume of this rectangular prism? So I have volume is equal to length times width times height. I have my length is equal to... 10, my width is equal to 4, my height is equal to 6. So let's see, 10 times 4 times 6 is 240 feet cubed. Okay. All right, as a class, estimate the volume of the classroom in cubic meters. Absolutely not. What is the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism? Length times width times height. F, find the volume of the solid. Now it just got interesting. So if we were going to find the area of the front of this, I would cut it into two. I'm finding the volume. I'm going to have to cut it into two as well. So let's see. Let's make it this cube on top, five by five by five, and then this rectangular prism on the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to need the volume of this one, the volume of the cube, length times width times height, which is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125, I believe. Just let me double check. Yeah. And then down here on the bottom, length, width, height, I have this for my length. My width is going to be 5, and my height is going to be 3. So see, the 8 doesn't even come into play here. So um, this is the height. So this is going to be 10 times 5 times 3, which is 150. And this is the volume of just the bottom part here. Now to get my total volume, I need to add the 2. So 125 plus 150 gives me 275 centimeters cubed. Okay. Oh, and this is a star problem. So we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, feel free to re-watch this if, if you need to or ask questions. Have a great day.